For this leopard look we're going to start by blocking out the brows and we're using FX wax and a spatula similar to how we've done in a previous video you want to smooth the brows out using the wax and then use a sealant to set the wax. Smooth this on with the spatula and remember to work really quickly with this as it goes tacky exceptionally fast. Uh, for the foundation I'm using Supracolor by Krylon. I'm working with an almost white shade and a very dark brown shade. So this is going to highlight and contour the face. So now I'm just buffing this in with a flat top kabuki brush and I'm just getting a really nice even coverage, taking it across the eyelids, around the nose and then I'm just working that down onto the neck. As this is a beauty shot, we don't need to take it any lower than the neck and I'm just working this in circular motions just to give a really nice even coverage. And now on another foundation brush I'm working the darker shade into the face. I'm mapping out the areas I want to contour and darken which is the temples, uh, the bridge of the nose and also down by the cheeks. And then using that brush I'm just going to sketch the shape of the leopard's facial features. I'm just using a picture I found on Google as my reference image. You don't see on camera obviously that I'm referring back to it just to make sure I'm getting the right shape. Now just using that brush I'm going to use a feather like motion just to blend out all the contour colour into the light shade that we originally placed on the face. It's all about blending for this look. So for the temples you want to blend it out into the forehead and then as you can see here I'm blending the outside line towards the eye and the bottom bit of the lip we're blending up towards the nose. This is going to give a nice pouty effect. I'm also taking that brown down onto the neck so it comes from the cheekbones all the way down and also patting a little bit of colour into the centre of the forehead just giving more dimension I'm also taking the brown down onto the filtrum and then just blending that gently with my finger and also down onto the chin we're going to set the cream foundation with some translucent powder as you can see the product's creased in the eye socket this is because the skin's warm and it tends to do that so I'm just using my finger to blend that out then I'm going to continue just to push the translucent powder over the skin you want to use a push motion as opposed to a drag because you don't want to spoil any of those contour lines that we've made. You can really see now how by putting a powder over the top the contour and highlight have softened. For the eyes I'm taking a matte brown from my BH Cosmetics palette and I'm just going to push that across the eye and I'm creating a slightly winged out cat eye obviously being as it's a leopard and a leopard is a cat and that is the shape of their eye so I'm trying to recreate that using eyeshadow. Then just using a blending brush I just want to create a gradient up to the brow bone so it blends out really softly. I'm now working a cold pencil into the waterline, also going to tight line the eye and I'm taking that cold pencil underneath the eye. I'm then smudging this with a pencil brush, you don't want this to be too neat. Remember we're recreating a fur pattern as opposed to something that's too defined. If we were to use liquid liner it would be too precise. So we're using a cold pencil for that very reason and then we're going to use a black eyeshadow just to set that and give a more smudged smoky appearance to the lash line. Then using the same brown from earlier we're going to pull the black up into the brown and create a gradient and then we're just going to soften all that with the blending brush and just make sure we're pulling it out to a nice cat eye. To create the leopard spots I'm using a thin flat brush and I'm using a brown tone as the base before I apply any black over the top and as you can see I'm using a slight V shape and I'm pulling it down at the edges leaving the, the middle of it empty. Using a small angle brush I'm then going to create a line underneath the eye to match the leopard shape using the same brown from earlier. Now to create the nose you want to use a black liner of some kind, I'm using a gel liner with a mixing medium just to thin it out and I'm creating the same shape as a leopard's nose so you kind of want to go with two bumps at the side and a dip in the middle. I've created dots for where the whiskers would go. You want to start with smaller ones in the centre going out to larger ones. And I'm also filling in the leopard print with some black gel liner. You want to follow the outline of the brown lines you made earlier and then fill in the centre with some wispy hair marks. You want to take this across the brows and as you go down the centre of the nose you want to get smaller. I'm covering the lips with the same white foundation from earlier. Then using a black lipstick I'm mapping out the shape of the lips. You don't want to follow the natural lip line, you want to go halfway down the top lip. This will help create some puffiness to the top lip, creating a 3D effect and replicating the leopard's mouth. Also take this black lipstick over the entire bottom lip and into the corners. I'm just drawing on some small leopard print marks onto the chin, just take the whole design all the way down. I'm also going to take it onto the neck as well. 
I really want to make the white around the nose stand out a little bit more and make it look a bit more puffy in 3D. So by taking a brown shadow around the edge of it, it's going to make the white stand out a bit more. And I'm going to take the same foundation brush from earlier and just soften those lines. And to do this, I'm just using the same feathering motions from earlier, just flicking the colours just to blend them and so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm just applying some eyelashes with some duo glue, just pushing them on and holding them in place. You need to let the glue set for about 15 seconds before you apply these. After this, I just took the leopard print down the neck and that's the look complete. Hope you've enjoyed.